Amber Heard thought she did something good when she released a statement after losing the defamation trial. But a legal analyst destroys using the words she said. When the verdict came out, we actually already had an idea who the winner might be. Lo and behold, the jury did choose Johnny Depp. He had the perfect witnesses, the best narratives, and most accurate pieces of evidence. Amber's was nothing compared to his. But the actress didn't want to accept this and became a sore loser. Publicly, she released a statement minutes after the verdict was released. Maybe she had it ready. She said that the disappointment she felt that day is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. Mountain of evidence wasn't all of that proven to be fake or heavily edited. To understand the next line of her pitiful statement. You should know that her opus egg came out at the height of the Me Too movement. That was when women kept sharing their abuse stories online to inspire others to speak up. Now that Amber lost the trial, she claimed that this was a setback for women and the Me Too movement. She boldly added that this trial sets back the idea that violence against women should be taken seriously. Legal analyst Rich Schoenstein doesn't think so. In fact, Amber's statement makes him angry. It goes on a little bit further there, but that's just a portion of it. What do you make of uh, this post-verdict Comment. It infuriates me. If Amber Heard and her... He said that the actress and her team should stop saying that the Me Too movement was set back because she was able to protect herself and even got a restraining order from her supposed abuser. Heard about the Me Too movement, they shouldn't be going around and going on television and saying it was set back. Amber Heard went to the police, got a restraining order, got a divorce, and nothing bad happened to her. She protected herself and was fine. It was only when she put up this self-serving article in the Washington... He pointed out what everyone was thinking. It was not until she released the op-ed that things got crazy. To Rich, there's nothing that this trial did to stop the movement. Before her big movie was premiering that she got in trouble. That is not a normal circumstance. The Me Too movement has not did not get a setback. Basically, she just made a fool out of herself. For years, there have been so many things going on between ex-celebrity couple Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. I think their relationship was already rough even before they got married. Anyway, many photos of Johnny with a beat-up face, bruises all over his body, and his severed finger surfaced the web. We started to notice that something pretty bad was up. As time went by, Amber was the one who claimed that Johnny abused her, even though she didn't have enough evidence to prove that. The actress released statements and articles that would call Johnny a wife-beater or a domestic abuser. She even became a self-proclaimed public figure representing domestic abuse. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor got sick of this nonsense and decided to sue Amber Heard for defamation. Honestly, he should have done this sooner. The defamation trial lasted more than a month, and this wasn't even the first trial. They already had one in the UK but Johnny lost. Mostly it was a waste of our time and it just strengthened the fact that Amber Heard was lying the whole time. People would notice that she just got lines from movies or books. She even stole a sexual abuse narrative from her assistant. How disgusting. The only thing Amber Heard set back in the end was herself. Johnny Depp made us all realize that standing up against abusers shouldn't be difficult for real victims. Thanks for watching this video. Tune in the next videos for more stories about the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial.